You can enjoy tastes of the Caribbean at a new restaurant in East Austin called Kanji. They highlight cooking techniques, ingredients, and vibrant food from Jamaica, Puerto Rico, and Guyana. Tierra Nubam joins us live from the restaurant with a look. Hey, Tierra, good morning. Good morning to you, Casey. This is one of the hottest restaurants in town right now. We just had a feast, if you guys saw it earlier, a spread of phenomenal food. Kanji, yeah. Chef Tavel. so what are people going to experience when they come in? What was the inspiration behind this restaurant? Man, listen, I wanted to create a vibe, right? I wanted to create a place like you walk in and you just feel welcome, right? You're going to just like in, get embraced by all these beautiful cultures, music, colors, everything. So the vibe is just like bursting at the scene when you walk in here. The, everything is popping. You do feel welcome. You feel excited when you step in here, even just this morning. And we're the only people here. So I can imagine <laughs> when it's bustling at night, you guys are all hanging out uh, at yeah. the bar, at the tables. I love just kind of the, the tropical inspiration in here. So yeah. um, for somebody not familiar with Guyana, a Guyanese restaurant, this is a Caribbean concept. Can you talk yeah. about the menu and what people are going to experience? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, honestly, you're going to experience food from all across the Caribbean so we're touching like Puerto Rico where we got bacalito we got uh, we got ceviche we got uh, jerk chicken from Jamaica we mm. got pepper pot from Guyana we got some roti a little Trinidadian sprinkle curry in there so it's just like showcasing all these beautiful dishes and telling a story through the food and through the drinks as well a phenomenal beverage absolutely, program absolutely. Uh, what are some of the things on the menu that pair well with with these food items that you talked about uh, man so the curry water is one of my favorite uh, cocktails that we have on the menu just because we make the curry powder here so it's just really cool and refreshing and then the tea punch uh, just because my name is T, that doesn't mean it's not. But Same here. yeah, but um, but the tea punch is one of my favorites. It's just lime, a little bit of uh, rum, and simple syrup. Just refreshing. Why is this place so special to you? This place is special because when I when I moved here and I was looking for a Caribbean spot, um, there wasn't any for me to go sit down and experience uh, that culture. And now I think being able to create something that the next person after me, when they come and they Google Caribbean restaurants in Austin, they will have a home and they would feel like they're at home and that's special. From growing up in Guyana to having your own spot, a few restaurants actually around Austin, can you put into words what this means to you? And do you ever think that you'd be sitting here kind of showcasing some phenomenal food that's hyped up right now around Yeah, here? man, honestly, I, I, it's it's really special. It's everything I wanted it to be and more than I expected it to be, you know? Um, being a, I was cooking this food at home all the time, and, and then I would go to work at like Emmer and Rye and Hestia, where it's, you know, a little bit elevated, and I'm like, man, like, I don't know if they're ready for this, you know? So building up the confidence to showcase stuff that is from your childhood is it's a big step. And I'm so happy that I put my heart out there and it's being received from the, the East Side community and everybody coming in so well. We had a feast earlier, truly phenomenal <laughs> flavors, unreal food, thank you for that. Um, you guys have an event on Sunday, what's happening? Yes, 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 so uh, we're celebrating Juneteenth. So Emmer and Rye Hospitality, um, so all of our restaurants, uh, we have six restaurants here in town, and basically we're taking the proceeds, 10% uh, of our proceeds across our um, restaurant group and donating it um, to charity, um, to trying to help uh, you know build the community and bring awareness to Juneteenth as best as we can. Yeah, some of those proceeds going to the Neil Cochran Museum. Excited for yes. that. And uh, no matter what day you can come in here, you got to come to Kanji Tavel. Thank you for hanging out with us this come. morning. This has been so much fun and just such a vibe in here. And that's what you guys were looking to do. So we love it. And we'll be posting a link to make your reservation at fox7austin.com. Casey, click on the Good Day tab. And uh, yeah, cheers. There we go. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice, yeah. Looking forward to making a reservation. That looks like an awesome place. I've enjoyed this, Tierra. Thank you.